screw there. And set screw here. Okay. Loosen the set screws on the side. Unthread the pressing detail. Remove the pressing detail, and then using your wrench, you can unthread the spindle holding detail. Then you can pull out the spindle, and there's a spring in the back. You have to remove that spring, install the spring in your new spindle, and then you can reinstall it on the tool. Then there's also a washer that goes on the front end or the nose of the spindle. That would need to be replaced as well. And then just re make sure your spindle is engaged, the spring action is working, and then re-thread in the holding detail. Snug it back up with your wrench. And re-thread in the pressing detail. Once that's thread in, tighten your set screws on the side and you're ready to start the next cycle. So spindle change is done in probably less than five minutes. Flush with the end of the washer basically. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that the pressing detail is about flush with the face of that washer. But, uh, the washer. Tighten your set screws back up. Spindle change is complete.